Should you learn to code in 2024 with all the AI bros telling us that coding will eventually become obsolete? I don't really know about you or other people. But 2024 is the year that I have decided to start to learn to code. See, for the past few years, I have always been a hobby coder and I have always enjoyed coding. But I never really thought of making it a career. And here is my backstory of how at the ripe age of 20, I have finally realized that I should pick up coding and start building a career on this because everything else that I tried has failed. The very first time I got introduced to coding was back in school when I first learned C++, SQL. At first I did not really bat an eye to all this because I used to hate going to school and I hated studying even more. I remember the very first time writing a hello world program because I was studying for my CS exam or I won't even touch it. At first I was getting a lot of errors in my hello world program but when it ran for the first time I thought wow this was actually much more fun than studying other subjects. Soon I practiced more and more programs that I had in my textbook and one day I decided to look it up on the internet. And at that time back in 2017, there were only like 10, 20 hour long videos teaching you the basics of coding. And there were no coding influencers yapping about their 400k fang job. I decided to learn C on my own watching one of those tutorials. And I did it for like 2-3 days and gave up on it. Because back then when I was in my teenage, I would probably sit and play video games all day instead of sitting and studying all day. I used to play COD Modern Warfare 2 online and Assassin's Creed Black Flag back then. But nowadays I only play Dark Souls. I don't really think anyone of you care about this information. So anyways, I stopped learning to code on my own. And again back in 2020, I got interested in coding. I don't really remember how but... I discovered this new language which is python and i immediately fell in love with it there are no semicolons that i had to add to every single line which i thought was annoying and the syntax is very clear in python unlike in c which looks like some alien language i think i got back into it because i came across this thing called being a hacker and it sounded really cool to me and of course your boy wanted to become a hacker at that time, I was really into building keyloggers. If you don't know what a keylogger is, it basically is a spyware that you inject in your target's computer and it will monitor all the keys that the user has made and send it to you. And yes, there are literally tutorials on YouTube on how you can build your own keylogger. By the way, none of them really work in case if you're wondering because it is against the TOS of YouTube. I also played with VMs. I literally had a Kali Linux virtual machine running on my lap. I also explored a bit of the shady web or more popularly known as the dark web. I did it for like a month and soon got bored of it. And 2020 was also the year that I graduated high school and I had to go to college and choose a college degree and I did pick up a course which is quite popular and initially I did somewhat had of an interest to study that but I just have realized that I don't really want to study that which brings me to this year. From the start of this year I have been working on my coding skills, I have been practicing python this whole time. I also made some projects. The best one I have made so far is this AI language assistant which kind of works like a custom GPT but instead I made it with Google Generative AI API. But the details of that does not really work. What really matters is that it works. Yes, it works. Now, I should be talking about why I have decided to learn coding from scratch again in 2024. To be honest, I have always been somewhat good at coding for my entire life. But I have somehow overlooked this talent and now I am back at learning coding because coding suddenly is cool now because of things like AI, coding competitions like hackathons and tech celebrities like Sam Altman, Elon and Nvidia CEO. But back in 2017, this was not cool at all. Hamburger please! Welcome to the rice fields, mother! It's Devin, the first AI software engineer. Now, I want you to tell him a bedtime story about robots and love. A bedtime story about robots and love? At least not that I know of, but I'm not just getting back into it because of suddenly it's cool now. I have always loved coding whether it be writing a simple hello world program or learning some things like data structures and algorithms. I have always enjoyed it and now I am finally serious about making this into a career. But what about AI you might say? Well, I don't really think AI is gonna replace software engineering. Even if it does not in the next 10-20 years. 
Yes, NVIDIA CEO keeps saying that no one needs to learn coding. The only reason he keeps yapping about that because he has to impress investors so that they pour more and more money into his company. Just look at NVIDIA stock. It literally is the most overvalued stock in the entire world. The only reason everyone is saying that AI will take everyone's job because AI is in hype right now and hypes like this will come and go. But you should not be influenced by anyone who hops from hype train to hype. A good example of this is the NFTs which was pretty hyped up in 2019, 2019 or 2020. But look at it now, it does not even exist anymore. And there was also AI art which was also really big in 2020. Remember DALI, Mid Journey. When was the last time you heard about them? Probably 2022. You know back in 2022, I was also kinda into art. If you don't believe me, I made this very mid manga and this channel was also kind of an art channel. But I have realized that even if I become an artist, I will never make a living off of it. And my financial goals are to become a billionaire. So I choose the next best thing, coding. Anyways, when the whole AI art thing came, I also used to think that the whole industry will be led by AI. But look, even in 2024, the latest anime or manga is still not made by AI. It's still made by the same people who were making back then. All the top illustrators that I used to follow like Khan Liu, Guiz are still relevant because they are at the top of their industry. And in the same way, I think for the programming industry that all the people at the top will never be replaceable by anyone. Well, that was my video essay on why I am learning to code in 2024. If you like it, please consider giving a sub and a like and I will see you in the next one.